So I got a haircut and I kind of love it. <laughs> What's up you guys, it's Katie the relationship guru who has never been in a relationship before. So the last few weeks I've been thinking about social media and how detrimental it actually can be to our society. Now don't get me wrong, I love Instagram and Twitter as much as the next person, but the thing is, is social media makes us want things, and just say it with me because you know what I'm talking about anyway, relationship goals. They're everywhere, you can't hide from them anymore because they will find you holding my hand while he drives the car, traveling the world together, dancing on a rooftop in the rain. And it's not even just mainstream stuff, there's Christian ones too. Sitting beside him on the bus ride to the youth conference. When his Bible looks like this, have him quote Song of Solomon to me. <laughs> I don't know, but you know what I mean, you get the point. But see, here's the problem when it comes to all that social media stuff. When we get so caught up in what culture tells us that we want, we kind of just take the first person that we think is gonna give that to us. And you know what, I'm not gonna judge anybody or accuse anybody of this because hey, I'm guilty of this too. But see, we fall in love with a fantasy of who we think the person is and like what we'll be together rather than actually falling in love with who the person is. And then when you're talking to your friends about it, you're just like, oh my gosh, he's so perfect, so wonderful. But when they actually start asking you real questions about him, like does he have a career plan? Does he do more than just play video games all day? And then you start to realize that you are kind of in love with a fantasy in the situation and you don't actually really like that many things about this person. And that can be a super scary thing to admit. But you know what, I'm just gonna make this real simple because it may not sound profound, but I think some people need to hear it anyway, so here goes. Don't date people you don't like. Self-worth and self-confidence is a struggle that a lot of people are dealing with right now, and so they look to someone of the other gender to kind of fill the void that they feel. And in some cases, they don't really have too high standards on who they want to fill that role. Yeah, I did see that. Oh my gosh, it was too funny. I know. Oh, just one second. You know that really annoying Chad guy from my science class who's always bragging about himself? Yeah, he just texted me for some reason. Hold up, I'm just gonna see what he said. Oh my gosh, you'll not believe this. He just asked me to go out with him. I know. I mean, like, should I go? Should I go? I should go. I should go. Yeah. I mean, he's kind of cute, right? See, what happens in situations like this is you just get so caught up in thinking, oh, does he like me? Does he think I'm pretty? And you forget to ask yourself, is he like worthy? Do I even like him? That all becomes irrelevant because you're just so focused on what he thinks about you. But then on the other hand, the principle still applies even if it's a good guy and there's nothing wrong with him. You still shouldn't date people you don't like. Just because he reads his Bible every day and he's really sweet and he goes to Bible study on Sunday nights with you, if you don't like him like that and you really don't think it could work out between you, don't just settle and date him because you think it's the right thing to do. You're not doing anyone a favor in that situation because you're not helping yourself, you're just setting yourself up to feel bad in the future when you have to call it off and you're not helping the other person because no one likes to be settled for. What I want in a relationship is a guy who's really interested in me, who really cares about me and who honestly can see a future with me. So don't settle when it comes to relationships because if all you're doing is trying to fill a void that you feel inside of you with a significant other to tell you that you're worth it and to text you every day, I can honestly tell you that you're not going to find that inner peace until you give that over to God and you just rely on Jesus. No person can fill that void for us. So there's what's going on in my brain today. I hope you enjoyed it. And like I said at the start of the video, I love me my social media, so don't forget to check me out on Twitter at KatieLizG and Instagram at KatieLizG. So that's all for now. Until next time I see you, have a great life. Don't be stupid or make bad decisions. Bye, guys. Whenever I say goodbye on these videos, I always think of that theme from The Sound of Music where they all like are singing goodbye. You know, it's like, um... The sun has gone to bed and so must I. And then they're all like, goodbye. And then all the crowd's just like, goodbye, goodbye. And it's like a big thing. That was really random.